What's up YouTube, Zero here. And today I have the Red Eye Blueprint review for the WSP9 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. In this video, I'll go over the attachments set up on the Red Eye. Then I'll get into what I like and what I don't like about this blueprint for the Red Eye. Then I'll talk about the camo on the Red Eye that you can see in the top right hand corner. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you if you should use it or lose it. If this blueprint is worth utilizing or if you should just kick it to the curb. Maybe just use the camo and create your own attachment setup. Before I get into it, I do want to say if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. For more Call of Duty content, I do a bunch of other video games, so feel free to check those out as well. Without further ado, let's talk about the Red Eye Blueprint for the WSP9. Now, in this video, you're going to see a lot of action. You're going to see a lot of kills. You're also going to see a lot of deaths. I'll just be quite frankly honest. I'm not much of a submachine gun type person. I've been trying in this video, in any video, I utilize a submachine gun to play more towards what the gun is meant for. And this is a more closer range gun, so that's what I'm trying to do. Let me talk about these attachments. First, we're gonna have a muzzle, which is the Sonic Suppressor S. You're gonna be undetectable by radar, already loving it. I love being undetectable by radar. It's also gonna increase the bullet velocity and damage range. This is gonna be at a cost of aim walking steadiness, sprint to fire speed, and recoil control. So some benefits of this Sonic Suppressor and some drawbacks, but let's see how the rest of this attachment set up for the red eye plays out next we're going to have a barrel which is the hiss short light barrel the aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and sprint speed are all going to be enhanced at a cost of recoil control and aiming idle sway next we're going to have an optic you can see the optic on the screen this is actually, of course, gonna give you a better picture and it's gonna enhance the aim down sight speed. This is gonna be at a cost of gun kick control and the firing aim stability. Next, magazine. We're actually gonna have a 40 round mag, increasing the mag capacity at a cost of movement speed, aim down sight speed, reload quickness, and sprint to fire speed. And last but not least, a stock, the WSP factory stock. This is going to enhance the aim down sight speed, movement speed, and sprint speed at a cost of recoil control, gun kick control, and aiming idle sway. So all of those together, what does this do? It's going to enhance the range a little bit. It's going to take away from our recoil control. Mobility and handling are all going to be enhanced. And actually overall, it does feel like the aim down sight speed is also enhanced a little bit. So overall, this is a decent build that sometimes feels a little confusing. Well, why do I say that? Just, I don't actually understand a sight that enhances my aim down sight speed. Over ranges, I don't necessarily need my aim down sight speed to be the quickest. When I'm shooting at enemies over range, I really just want to make sure that I am hitting my target because over range is where your accuracy and the flinch of your gun really matter. You wanna make sure you're hitting every bullet and not missing because that's when you could be getting into trouble. I'm not sure I necessarily need a sight on this build with the WSP9. However, I do like the sight, it's nice, I'm just not sure it's necessary. I do enjoy the enhanced aim down sight speed, of course, the WSP9 being a submachine gun, it's gonna be a closer range gun, so when I'm able to aim down the sight a little bit quicker, I'm gonna be able to more accurately hit my enemies when I am in those closer range battles, so I enjoy that this gun enhances the aim down sight speed. This is at a cost of recoil control. However, again, submachine gun, we're thinking, okay, closer gun range battles, not gonna have to worry as much about recoil control because I'm over those closer ranges. Again, that's why I don't understand the sight on this. I'm okay with losing recoil if I can enhance my closer range combat because that's what submachine guns are really good for. I'm trying to get 
very good in these close quarter scenarios. You can see here in these close quarter scenarios, I'm trying to beat my enemy with the speed of either my aim down sight, but of really my gun. Overall, the mobility and handling increases are nice. The gun feels nice maneuvering. I'm able to aim down the sight a little bit quicker, which is great. Running around, I'm also great on. The attachment says some of them just don't feel right with each other. I'd probably get rid of this optic, maybe add on something else, maybe an ammunition that in increases my target flinch. The range increase is nice. Maybe if I wanted to do a little bit further of ranges, I'd help out with my recoil a little bit more. We're getting rid of our recoil control. So anything over the range doesn't make sense. We're enhancing the range with this blueprint and we're taking away from the recoil control. I hate doing that. It's one of the worst combinations you can do because you need recoil control over range. That's when it's more important. Over the short ranges, you don't need your recoil control as much because your target is bigger. So I don't like how this blueprint itself is kind of at ends with each other. It feels like half of it should be on one build, half of it should be on another. So while I did well with this build, it's just confused and there are a lot better builds when it comes to the WSP9. So I wouldn't utilize this. I'm not much of a submachine gun type person, but this just feels a little confused, if you will, in terms of a build. It just doesn't seem like the attachments themselves are really playing well off of each other. You could do a little bit better. But with that being said, let me know what you think of the red eye blueprint for the WSP9. Do you like all these attachments together or are you with me? Are there better attachment combinations? I love the 40 round mag. For closer range guns, sometimes that's extremely important when you're taking on multiple enemies. I do enjoy being undetectable by radar. And the barrel itself, increasing my aim down sight speed, the sprint to fire speed, and the sprint speed is absolutely fantastic. The stock itself is also great, helping with my aim down sight speed, my movement speed, and my sprint speed. The only change I'd really make is probably my sight. I'd do something different with the sight. I don't need the sight over closer ranges. I would do something to enhance the closer range combat. Maybe a laser to enhance my hip fire or some form of attachment to enhance my hip fire and that would make this build a lot better. Don't like the sight on this build. Everything else is a decent combination. But let me know in the comment section again what you think of this. Are you on the same page as me or are we different? Do you love this setup? Now let's talk about the camo because the camo is what we're really looking at on this blueprint. We could change the attachments. We can technically change the camo, but let's take a look at the red eye camo in general. And I absolutely love this. The silver with the gray and the red looks really cool. It reminds me of a storm, probably why they're calling this the red eye. It looks absolutely awesome. I love this red eye camo, it looks really cool. I recommend utilizing this camo. It's really sweet. But let me know in the comment section what you think of this camo. So in terms of using this or losing this blueprint, I would utilize it for the camo, but the attachment setup, there are definitely better attachment setups when it comes to the WSP9. It's a decent gun, and honestly, I did decent enough with this attachment setup, but there are better attachment setups for this WSP9 than what we have with the Red Eye Blueprint. But again, let me know in the comments section what you were thinking of this. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think of the WSP9 in general? I'm not much of a submachine gun type player. I prefer being a little bit slower paced in my gameplay. I'm not one of a running gun. That's a lot of what submachine guns are. They're running gun. They're, hey, I'm going to run through this area and knock out these enemies really quickly. Where me, I'm more methodical. I like to hit enemies from the more medium to longer ranges. Not as much of the up close and personal type of player, except when it comes to shotguns. I love shotguns. Let's be honest. I love running around with a shotgun. I know I can't do insanely well with it, but I do love running around with a shotgun. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the WSP9. I did enjoy using this. 
blueprint. There are just better blueprints out there. We are coming down to the end of the video, so just as a reminder, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Call of Duty content. Thank you so much in advance for doing so. Let's talk anything Call of Duty in the comments section. What guns do you want me to take a look at? What blueprints do you want me to take a look at? Is there anything you want me to talk about? Something you need explaining? Something you want me to review? Or just good old fashioned gameplay? Let me know in the comments section. I'm looking forward to talking anything Call of Duty. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. It's Sunday for me, so I'm gonna relax the rest of this day before I get back to work tomorrow. But I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, enjoy the rest of the video. Peace.